In today's video, I'm going to be answering a question from someone in our YouTube community because I think it's a great question and because we truly want to build a community on YouTube, somewhere where you can ask a question and actually get an in-depth response. So I'm going to bring up what the question is and then I'm going to answer it. This was a comment slash question submitted from Sully underscore one. Sully, I appreciate you. Thank you for being a YouTube viewer and maybe even a subscriber. So thank you so much for the insight, Shanae. I recently made an account on LinkedIn because I realized my line of business could benefit from it. Since I work in tech startup niche myself and don't know the best ways to find people on the platform, I'd love to know how can I find other people in the niche recently started tech startups that I can connect to. And on the business side of things, based on my take on your video, do you think starting with cold outreach and making content on the side is the way to go until you can rely on outbound? So this is really two questions. I'm going to tackle the first one in this video, which is what are the best ways to find other people in my niche? Recently started tech startups that I can connect to. The beautiful thing is that LinkedIn is a search engine. So we can search for certain keywords, certain hashtags that can bring up certain companies, certain events, certain people. And we're going to go through that now. So here's how I would find people in tech startups or founders of tech startups if I were Sully. So the first thing to remember is that LinkedIn is a search engine. Immediately when you go to your feed on the top left here, you're going to see search. And in this search bar, we can search for different keywords. I could search for startup. When I search for the keyword startup, it's going to give me a few options. So it's going to give me the options of people, groups, posts, products, companies, jobs, events, and schools. If I just wanted to search for people, I could, and it will bring up people who have startup in their headline or their bio, or it's a keyword that's pretty repeated on their profile. So as you can see here, founder at Stealth Startup, CTO, Startup Founder and Advisor, Founder and LO Insights, Accelerator Exec, Startup Advisor, Investor, and Strategist. And if Sully wanted to specifically connect with Startup Founders, obviously up here, he would put Startup Founder. Startup Founder, Founder, CEO, Founder, App, Founder, Founder, App. Just from that one change in the keyword, a lot of the Startup Advisors, Investors are now here as Startup Founders. If you wanted to specifically focus on Startup Founders, let's say in the United States or in a specific state, let's say in California or in a specific city like San Francisco, he could. You would search the city and then show results. And here are the people that founder and CEO, tech startup founder, founder at Burst, co-founder at Self Startup, startup founder. So these are the people that come up. Now for me, I have a lot of first degree connections. So the first degree connections are people that I'm already connected to. But if I wanted to find new people, I could second and then third. So these are the people that I'm not connected to. You could also add filters over here, such as a company, past company, schools that they've gone to, the industry. So obviously it'd be tech. Or for example, if he was in healthcare, maybe I would add the healthcare industry, so on and so forth. But what this search style doesn't show you is whether they are active on LinkedIn, whether they post, whether they log in a lot, so on and so forth. So there are better ways to search for people that are actually active. And so we're going to go back over here and we're going to go to search and we're going to put tech startup. And then what we're going to do is we're going to do posts. And these are now people who post about tech or have posted about startup tech or maybe are involved in startup, in SaaS, in all of this. And as you can see, this was 11 hours ago. This was a day ago. And as you can see, I could put date posted and I could do past week. And so these are all the people that are active that have actually posted within the last week anything related to tech startups. And as you can see, a lot of people that are founders, that are in tech, that are working at a startup, that are advisors to startup, that are involved in the space, 
are posting about startups naturally. This is one way to do it. And then what Sully could do is actually engage with the person's post, wait for the person to reply to their comment, and then send them a connection request. I could also go to content types and I could go to videos or newsletter or whatever. And maybe the reason why I would do videos because if they're doing video on LinkedIn, they're even more active. They're part of the top 1% of active creators. He was a co-founder at QuadPay. I don't post here often and he shared his story. And then I guarantee you that in the comments, there's also other founders. And what are they telling you? They're telling you that I've been active within the last five days, that I'm a founder, that I also engage with other founders. And so if you were to send them a connection request or reply to their comment, they would be that much more likely to accept your request or reply back to you. And as you can see here, here's 43 comments, probably 30 founders right in these comments. Going down serial AI entrepreneur, here we go. Another founder in the tech space, I guarantee you the comments are the same. It's probably a lot of people in AI, a lot of founders, a lot of entrepreneurs, a lot of investors, CEOs. And so if I were you, if I wanted to find active people, then I would go to posts, I would go to past week, and I would filter maybe through videos or live videos even, which takes it to the next level. Because if they're doing live videos on LinkedIn, they're even more of a top 0.01% creator than if they're just doing video. One other way to do it is to put something like tech startup or SaaS, and then search based on the events. As you can see, there's 909 results and there's a lot of different events here. The first event on the list is June 19th, get seed funding for your tech startup in four months. The main thing that you wanna look for here is the attendee list. The beauty about events on LinkedIn is that it filters interest. So if you're not looking for seed funding, if you don't have a tech startup, and if you're not looking to do that, maybe within this year, relatively soon, in four months, then why would you be going to this event? So if I were you, Sully, I'd be looking for, and this goes for anyone, you wanna look for key phrases, go to the events and look for the most pop-in or popular events, because what that event is, is basically a Rolodex of people who are active on LinkedIn, who know how to at least accept an invite for the event feature, who are more likely than not looking to learn about this particular thing, and more likely than not more open to connecting to other people looking to learn this particular thing. And the way that you would do that is you would click the events, and then all you have to do is click register, now, if it's going to be through a company page, there could be a registration form and you could fill that out if you want. And then the main goal here is to get the list. So here are 377 attendees of this event. And most of these people are probably going to be in startup, in IT, in tech. And again, what they're telling you is that they are active on LinkedIn. They are looking to raise seed funding. They're early in their startup game. And all you'd have to do is click on their profile, see if they're creating content. And if not, you could just send a message saying, hey, I see you're going to the seed funding thing. I am too, I'm really early in my startup and I'm just looking to connect with other startup founders and you'd be surprised. The better way probably though would be to see if she does create content, like she's creating content a week ago, a month ago, and it would be just to leverage this list to get more people to engage with so that they can reply back to your comment so that you could send them a connection request so that you could get more startup people in your network. The other way is to look for groups like startup and then you could look for groups. And as you can see here, there's 10,000 results. The groups on LinkedIn are a little hit or miss, but you could join maybe five to 10 groups and there's probably one that is really engaged with the type of people that you want to have in the group. And you want to make sure that you're okay with the rules of the group. There's different rules for every group. I could do a whole training on that. But the point is, is that there's so many ways to slice this cake. And the other point is, is that it's not so clear cut. So you don't just want to search for a term like tech startup. You could search for a term like SaaS. 
And then again, you could go to posts, you could go to events, you could go to people. But the point is, is that as you can see here, a lot of these people are still in startup. They're just using a different word. Another word is exited founder. And I could go to people and I could see exited founder, exited founder, exited founder, exited founder, co-founder. You could go to startup investor. You can go to serial founder or entrepreneur. And as you could see, the keywords change. And down here for every search, serial entrepreneur founder, serial entrepreneur startup, LinkedIn will show you different types of people. And so you don't wanna get stuck in one keyword of startup tech or tech startup or founder. You wanna have a few keywords that you play with and you want to look for people that are active. And honestly, the best way to look for people that are active are to look for people that have posted within the week in different mediums and to look for people who are hosting and or attending live events. And if I were you, that's a great place to start. And if you appreciated this answer, Sully, comment below. If you have a question of your own or a comment of your own, comment below. I appreciate every single one of you as we grow our community here on YouTube. God bless you. Ciao.